The Japanese company NEC announced that it has succeeded in creating a prototype flying car. With a roar, the 148-kilogram helicopter-like prototype, measuring 3.9 meters in length, 1.3 meters in height, and 3.7 meters in width, lifted itself 3 meters off the ground and hovered for several minutes at the NEC test location. It is equipped with four rotors and visually resembles a large quadcopter. However, calling it a car is somewhat of a stretch. It has three small wheels, so discussing its road maneuverability or ability to achieve high speeds is premature. A video shows the NEC flying machine briefly taking off. The ascent is accompanied by the noise of the propellers and the wobbling of the body, so the flight can hardly be called stable at this stage. After the tests, the Japanese engineers are not ready to report that the machine can maintain stable flight. However, the fact that it lifted off the ground indicates that there are huge development prospects in this field. The Japanese startup SkyDrive has developed the SD-03 flying car, representing an advanced solution for future urban transportation. The SD-03 is a single-seat vertical takeoff and landing air vehicle equipped with eight electric motors. It is designed for autonomous flights at low altitudes and speeds. The SD-03 has compact dimensions, a length of 4 meters, a width of 4 meters, and a height of 2 meters. This allows it to maneuver easily in urban environments and utilize existing infrastructure. Its electric drive system ensures high efficiency and minimal emissions, meeting modern environmental standards. One of the unique features of the SD-03 is its vertical takeoff and landing capability, allowing it to be used on building rooftops or specialized landing pads. SkyDrive is actively addressing safety concerns by implementing backup systems and automatic flight control. The company Bell, known for its innovations in aviation, has introduced the Bell Nexus Air Taxi, which offers an advanced solution for urban mobility. The Bell Nexus is a vertical takeoff and landing air vehicle designed to transport passengers through the air in densely populated urban environments. The Bell Nexus is equipped with a hybrid electric propulsion system, ensuring high efficiency and reduced environmental emissions. This flying vehicle can carry up to four passengers and one pilot, offering a fast and convenient way to travel across the city, bypassing traffic and reducing travel time. The vehicle weighs 2,700 kilograms and has a maximum flight range of 240 kilometers. It is expected that the Nexus can cover this distance in an hour. Bell is actively working on integrating the Bell Nexus into urban infrastructure collaborating with partners and regulators to create an air taxi ecosystem. Lyft Aircraft continues to strive to make air transportation as simple and accessible as possible for the average person. Its most notable development to date is Hexa, a compact electric drone lifted into the air by 18 rotors. The company claims that the device can be operated without a pilot's license or prior training, using only voice commands. A full battery charge is sufficient for 15 minutes of flight at cruising speed. If the pilot does not land within that time, the aircraft will automatically descend and land without human intervention. If one or several motors fail, Hexa can still land smoothly using the thrust from the remaining rotors. While the simultaneous failure of all rotors is highly unlikely, it is still possible. For such a scenario, Lyft aircraft engineers have equipped Hexa with a ballistic parachute to prevent it from crashing. The maximum flight height is artificially limited to prevent interference with other aircraft and ensure their safety. This is one reason why no special pilot's license is required, making the entry barrier to flying the Hexa drone extremely low. A considerable number of car companies have recently begun considering a fundamentally new type of transportation, flying taxis. These vehicles won't need to stop at red lights at every intersection. They will never get stuck in traffic, and they can deliver a person to any point in the city. Additionally, there are no harmful emissions as the engines run on electricity. Recently, Hyundai joined the flight race, 
announcing the creation of a new special division. Hyundai, in partnership with Uber, recently unveiled the concept of a new transportation system designed to replace traditional taxis. The taxi is a device with tilt rotor engines that provide lift during vertical takeoff and act as propellers during horizontal flight. The air taxi, which can accommodate up to five people, is capable of flying at an altitude of up to 600 meters at a speed of about 300 kilometers per hour. The maximum flight range will be 100 kilometers. At last year's Japan Mobility Show in Tokyo, Subaru showcased its vision of the flying car of the future. The air mobility looks more like a flying car than the personal aircraft other companies are developing. The manufacturer also hints that the flying Subaru is not just a fantasy. It features distinctive headlights and taillights with branding in the center. The interior looks very similar to that of a car. Subaru mentioned that aerospace and automotive engineers are still working on the concept, so there are not many details available yet. The Japanese company Tetra Aviation has developed the Tetra MK5 flying car, representing an advanced solution for personal air transportation. The Tetra MK5 is a single-seat vertical takeoff and landing air vehicle designed for participation in the GoFly competition sponsored by Boeing. In 2020, this vehicle won the grand prize of $1 million. Its main features include a maximum speed of around 160 km per hour, a flight range of up to 160 km, and a flight time of approximately one hour. Its compact size allows for use on limited landing sites, and its multi-rotor configuration ensures high maneuverability. The Tetra MK5 boasts a well-thought-out design and innovative technologies. It is equipped with multiple electric motors, enabling it to take off vertically and travel significant distances on a single charge. The primary purpose of the Tetra MK5 is to serve as a personal transportation vehicle for short trips, especially in densely populated urban areas. The Japanese have created a flying motorcycle that can already be purchased for $680,000. The company ALI Technologies has announced the start of sales for the flying motorcycle X Turismo Limited Edition. It is worth noting that the X Turismo is equipped not with an electric setup, but with a classic internal combustion engine that drives the two main rotors. Auxiliary rotors, utilizing technology already tested by the company on drones, are used for maintaining balance and performing various maneuvers. The maximum payload of the vehicle is 300 kilograms. The bike itself weighs 300 kilograms, has a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and a flight time of 40 minutes. The engineers who created the flying motorcycle say that their creation can be used not only as a rather expensive toy, but also for other practical purposes. Specifically, experts claim that the X Turismo can be used in rescue operations on water. Let us know in the comments which of the flying cars shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. See you next time.